However, a code orange air quality alert remains in place for Jefferson and Shelby counties through tomorrow. Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann joins us tonight as we look ahead to all important Friday and the weekend, Ashley. Almost there. We're almost to the weekend, Ben, and it's going to be a hot one. Humidity is going to start increasing, so that's going to make things feel a bit more steamy as we head into the end of the week and into the weekend. Right now, temperatures upper 70s and low 80s. This is a big reason that we have a heat advisory in place tomorrow overnight when those temperatures hover around 80 degrees. It really just doesn't allow for a big cool down overnight. We're currently sitting at 77 from Anniston to Talladega. 83 in Birmingham, 84 in Fayette, 82 in Tuscaloosa. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up to low to mid 70s. We'll get a brief break from the heat in those pre dawn hours, but it won't last long. Temperatures will be quickly climbing through the morning hours. We'll already be at 83 degrees by 9 a.m. between 10 and 11, closer to 90 before you even have lunchtime. And then afternoon highs tomorrow will be in the mid to upper 90s, much like they were today. We will have a little bit more increased humidity tomorrow. That will allow for a better chance of some afternoon scattered showers and storms. We heard a few of those thunder boomers today right here in Birmingham and a couple of spots saw some of that rainfall. Most stayed dry, but that's kind of the story tomorrow. So if you're heading to the pool, just listen out. If you hear a big clap of thunder close by, you might want to get out of the pool for a little while. Otherwise, look at the highs across the map. 97 in Gadsden tomorrow, 98 in Tuscaloosa, 96 in Moundville. But when you add in those dew point values in the low and even the mid 70s, here's what it's going to feel like outside. It will feel more like 106 in Birmingham, 107 in Tuscaloosa as well as Fayette. This is important because this is how our body responds to the heat. So when it's steamy outside, you just need to take those frequent breaks and drink plenty of water. Some of those heat stresses can come on uh, over time. It doesn't happen immediately, so you may not realize it uh, that your body is getting so fatigued by the heat. Not a lot of chance of rain to help cool things off either, but we will see some scattered showers tomorrow afternoon. Looking at your future cast, we'll start out with plenty of sunshine, a generous supply of it as a matter of fact, and then a few of those scattered showers and storms by afternoon, but you'll notice they're very sporadic. These are not going to be evenly spaced showers and storms, and we could even have a few post sunset. We should see a break late Friday night into Saturday. Dry start to our Saturday. Saturday morning, followed by another round of some wet weather and maybe even a little bit better coverage on Saturday afternoon. And again, every single one of these thunderstorms has the capability of producing some very heavy downpours, frequent lightning and even some strong winds. Although severe weather's not going to be a big part of the forecast. So Saturday night, fine. Sunday, great. And then as we move into early next week, things are going to get a little steamier. Very little chance of rain over the next seven days as well. Notice by our map here, maybe, maybe a half of an inch at best. Now, we could see, like today, some of those thunderstorms produce some locally heavy amounts of rainfall. So I'll kind of tack that into the forecast Saturday and Sunday. But all in all, rain chances over the next week, pretty bleak. Highs for your Saturday and Sunday, 97 and 98 respectively. Those feels like temperatures at 105. And this trend continues into the first full week of August. Above average temperatures as this ridge of high pressure pressure shifts east and as it does, it will be baking the southeast in this summertime heat. Keep in mind our average highs this time of year sit at 91 will be continuously closer to 100 degrees over the next week than 90 degrees, putting that in perspective. Average lows at 73, so some nights will be seasonable, but we'll even see those morning lows climbing. Want to point out we are tracking an area development that's moving into the Atlantic right now. Looks like the threat for that developing over the next seven days is going down and no impact to the coast. Could see a couple of showers with low 90s if you're beach bound, rounding out the days of summer. Hot this weekend, though, heat index tomorrow at 106, heat index Saturday at 102, and then temperatures getting close to 100 degrees next week. We could possibly hit the century mark in some spots by Tuesday or Wednesday. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Ashley, thank you.